Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. I welcome you once again to another session of our news and I want to appreciate you for always being there. Thank you for your support. Thank you for trusting us to bring you interesting news from around the world. I really appreciate you guys massively. Uh, I want to quickly encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you. Another popular prophet in Lagos has come out to tell Mr. Muhammad Buhari that IPOP will cause you so many issues. IPOP, Namdekano, and IPOP will cause you so many issues. Now, from the look of things, Namdekano and IPOP will be a pain in the ass for President Muhammad Buhari. The leader of the INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodele, has declared that IPOP and Namdekano will cause President Muhammad Buhari so many issues, saying that the president is no longer active. According to him, the cabal in the presidency will make the president redundant if he fails to act fast. Primate Ayodele, in a series of prophecies on Saturday morning, also said the government of Buhari will meet a greater challenge from the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. Speaking on President, President Muhammad Buhari's government, he revealed that he sees a secret document being leaked from the government and it is going to cause lots of challenges for him. He alerted the president of the need to get active, advising him to change his service chiefs for the sake of security in the country. He further said, Buhari, Buhari isn't active anymore. If he is not careful, the cabal will make him redundant because his government is sitting on a time bomb. IPOP will still cause you so many issues. He must change his service chiefs before the government can be stabilized, he said. All right, guys, from what the, pro, the, the popular uh, prophet has said, do you think that Buhari might survive the onslaught that might be coming his way from IPOP? Well, it remains to be seen. If the popular prophet has said that the president is not active, that word active is relative, if you'd ask me. What context, or in what context, does that word active actually come to play? You recall that Namdekano has made series of claims that the president is dead, that the president was no longer alive, that uh, it's another person that is actually you know, uh, imposing himself or acting as the president, and so many other um, accusations as it were. Well, it is what it is. Let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story. Another person says, Asorok is empty. Cabals, stop deceiving Nigerians. Nigeria has expired. Okay. A can name Anita says, is IPOP resting? They have been restless too. Kano has been hiding from even his own shadow. Okay. Could this be true? Decentralize Nigeria and get peace. Eddie Okafor says, Nigeria's president is lifeless. SOJ54 says, just as you are not active and relevant in the call you received because of poverty. Okay, this is, I think this is referring to the primate himself. Another person says, how long would the, will the northern the Kaduna mafias hold Nigeria in the jugular. You are simply afraid of southern freedom. That's why you don't want Nigerians to know that they don't have a president. The pressure of the bubble will soon burst. Okay. Jude, good luck, says, I think the present government should have a rethink concerning the prophecies coming from national and internationally. They should reason for these men of God's prophecies and some of the Nigerian elite suggestion and do the needful. 
Hanover says, I pop sympathizers. The president can adopt any style he wants to rule the country with. He is not doing badly. Okay. What why is Prophet or what is Prophet Ayodele talking about? Is he telling Nigerians that IPOP is his problem or what? Well, it is what it is. We all know that IPOP has been a pain in the ass for good Lord President uh, Muhammad Buhari. Well, it is what it is. Idam Chijo Kedanya says the major responsibility of government is providing security for lives and properties. Buhari has failed in that aspect. Primate Elijah Ayodele, thank you. Hashtag Buhari should resign. Who are the cabals? Says Lukmon Ojubanire. Can you name them? If you cannot do any of these questions, then it is left to you. Well, we all know that there are cabals or there is a cabal in Asso Rock. Well, if you don't know, then the more you look, the less you see. Another person says, when was Buhari ever active? In 1983, it was Idiagman that drove the administration. From 2015, the government has drifted with intermittent intervention by powerful cabals within. What can this government claim it has done in the face of the total breakdown of security nationwide, caused largely by untouchable transnational Fulanese? Okay. Another person says, this is why many people are saying the man in Asorok is not Buhari. He takes every issue very unseriously. Okay. Adepoju Michael Adenika say this is not a prophecy, but common sense. Everyone with common sense can see what you saw. That is not and there is nothing. Uh, that is not anything special. Try to see how your members will progress and stop evil from being falling on your church member. Okay. So basically, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? The issue remains that IPOP has been a pain in the neck for Muhammad Buhari ever since he became president because of the way he has treated the southeasterners and now it has been revealed that uh, there's going to be much more and further issues challenges he's going to face further challenges from the ipop well since he is not active you know then uh, what do we how do we look at it or what do we actually tag it the young the man is no longer active you know, means that it is the cabal that has been running the affairs of the country. So it leaves us, it leaves, it leaves us to uh, so many things. It leaves so many things to be said concerning the way and manner Nigeria is at the moment. That means there is no leadership. And if there is no leadership, then something is wrong somewhere. So guys, what are your thoughts? For how long are we going to continue like this? For how long are we going to continue like this? The man has said, yeah, Nigeria is the uh, the government is sitting on a time bomb. It's sitting on a time bomb which could explode any time and cause issues, as it were. So, if the president does not, you know, act and stand up to his responsibilities, there's going to be a serious issues. According to him, he said the cabal in the presidency will make the president redundant if he fails to act fast. Is he not already redundant? If you ask me, I stand to be corrected. But I think he is already redundant. So, speaking on President Buhar, Muhammad Buhari's government, he reveals that he sees a secret document being leaked from the government. If his speech can be leaked, if the speech for his broadcast can be leaked, then what else cannot be leaked? And it is going to cause lots of challenges for him. Definitely, he said, he alerted the president of the need to get active advising him to change his chief of staffs for the sake of security in the country. This is what reasonable people have been telling the president, but he had refused to listen, and he still does not want to listen. So we keep our fingers crossed and watch how things unfold. Buhari isn't active anymore. If he is not careful, the cabal will make him redundant because his government is sitting on a time bomb. Well, I think that is what he desires and that is what he wants is that ipop will cause so many issues he must change his service chiefs before the government can be stabilized the truth of the matter is that will uh, buhari's government ever be stabilized i stand to be corrected if i'm wrong it is a no brainer for me so be that as it were let's keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold i stand to be corrected if i am wrong guys you know but the truth remains that um you know he's going to face lots 
lots lots more challenges drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now